got invited to this big slumber party that all of the girls in my grade were having. And I was so excited. I remember running up to my mom being like, mom, I'm invited to something. I'm actually invited. And uh, I went to this sleepover. The girls were really nice to me. And I actually finally felt like I belonged. I woke up the next morning and they had cut my hair off. I still don't know who did it. Um, nobody ever confessed to it. So I just kind of came to the conclusion that it was a staged sleepover and that they were all in on it. Um, I moved schools again, going into grade eight, um, kind of became invisible, I moved schools again, going into grade nine. Um, at this point in time, it was my seventh school. And um, we moved from, or I moved from a big high school in British Columbia to a very, very small school in the middle of nowhere in Southern Manitoba. And it was a community where everybody had known each other forever. And the grandparents were friends and I was a complete outsider. And I went into high school with the mindset that, okay, I'm going to be popular this year. I'm going to fit in. I'm going to have lots of friends. And it didn't really work out as I wanted it to. Um, about a month in, it started to get really bad. I'm actually naturally good at school. So I would, you know, get 90 to 100 on anything. And um, a lot of the students didn't like that. So I was called, you know, nerd, teacher's pet. They would harass me about it. They would purposely destroy my assignments. So I started to change who I was so that I could try to fit in. So I would, you know, not hand assignments in or I would leave questions blank on a test so that I wouldn't get that high mark. And I just, I dropped out of sports. I didn't do anything to do with music because I was so insecure about it and I had no self-confidence and I just became this version of myself that wasn't me because I wanted to be in the popular group and I really struggled with depression and anxiety but I didn't understand what it was and I didn't know what I was going through I just thought that something was wrong with me and I didn't understand why I couldn't just be like everybody else 